New tonight, local families asking for people to come forward with information in their loved one's cold case murder. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Creston Holland was shot and killed in August of 2007 in Lincoln Heights. Yeah, he was only 26 years old. And Courtney King spoke with his family in an interview you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob were live outside the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office because detectives are the ones who are working his cold case. We did speak with his family. They tell us that Creston was just a young father trying to figure out life when he was shot and killed. They also tell us that they will not have peace until they get justice for him. I just want to know why. Yeah. Just like, why would you do that? Tamika Dickey, her sister Jolanda, and their family have been waiting for justice for 16 years. You don't forget every day that you wake up, uh, you still think about it. Tamika and Jolanda's brother, Creston Holland, was shot and killed on August 20th, 2007. He was found in this driveway in Lincoln Heights on Douglas Street near Wabash. Authorities say Lachlan Fire Department transported him to the hospital where he later died. The sisters say they don't understand what happened. Because he did have a, like a verbal situation going on at night with someone and uh, he walked home which he was living was staying right there and on the way home I guess whoever it was was following him. Jolanda says Creston was known for joking around not being confrontational. He might rap a few words or say something funny but he, it wasn't worth his life. Both women say the lack of people coming forward with information is standing in the way of them getting justice for Creston's unsolved murder. This supposed to be a close knit community, but now you just can't look at everybody the same because it's like, do you know, do you know, you know what you know? So and it's just, it's hurtful, you know, especially knowing somebody out here know what happened and they, they don't want to come forward to say anything. They are hoping someone will finally talk now that so much time has gone by. You know, he's gone. We know he's gone. He's not coming back. But at least we, we deserve closure on what happened. And we did reach out to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office for comment and to find out the status of that investigation, but we're still waiting to hear back. If you have any information in the case, you are asked to call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. We're live from the Sheriff's Office. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Courtney, thank you.